Welcome. Here we are recording one of the most amazing games ever to grace this great Terra. This Terra. Fun. Banjo Kazooie is an absolute classic that I grew up with, but it was a game that I got to after Banjo Tooie, and I love it dearly. However, I think it's a bit simple and quaint, simply because I played the second installment first. Um, here in this stream, I want to take it level by level, uh, especially because in Kazooie, uh, unlike Tooie, the levels aren't connected. So you can do a whole level in one go for the most part, I think, outside of Freeze Easy Peak. I think Freeze Easy Peak is the only level where you can't, and it's the boggy race where you must have the um, speed shoes uh, that you get in Gobi's Valley first before you can complete that level in entirety. So we'll be running through it today, having a grand old time, uh, making jokes all the while, and uh, reminiscing. Look at Mumbo's design, he was so starkly different than his Tui design, than his Nuts and Bolts design. I mean, it's very blocky and primitive. <laughs> and he has, uh, like, it's, it's in two pieces, whereas in the Tui onward, this, the, the mask is, whereas in Tui onward, it's clearly one encased head. So let's push forth here. All right, so let's see, we got game one empty. Looks like Banjo's head's merging with the uh, bed headboard, but no, it's just he just has a weird chick head. Um, and then we have Royston over here on the left, famous Ed Bryan creation um, that gets lots of airtime in rare Platonic games. And we have Banjo playing the classic Game Boy, the block Game Boy. Look at this, this is ridiculous. So we'll start with File 1. Um, so I am emulating here today. Um, I bought this game on an N64 and I have bought it on the, uh, through Rare Replay on the Xbox Live Arcade. Um, so, my cat's purring at the door, but I know if he gets in, Mr. Tortellini, me. I know if he gets in, then he's going to cause a ruckus and eat some wires and break some shit. And everything is just so. I have all these cables and cords out right now. I want to simplify my setup in all honesty. We'll get to the story now. Ding, ding pop, ding pop. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why it's grumpy, I know that. She really takes my breath away. Cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. And Gruntilda here rhymes throughout. Oh, but there isn't this girl. What do you mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier. Than me. Well, it's dirty, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. I don't know why uh, he has a Jamaican accent. Now, now, you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, well, you're fine. Uh, it's dirty. She's cute and kind. Ah, well, we'll see about that. So this is. The upper register of Chris Siever right there. Conquer 2 is a whole different light. Chris Siever has... He can get pretty high-pitched. I wonder if he was a soprano back in the choral days. Still today, he might be a soprano. Ah, there's our boy Bottles. Look at that glutton. Look at that beautiful boy. Hey there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? My big lazy brother wakes up, but we are going on an adventure. I think the bottle's more of a neutral. His band is the hillbilly. Oh, look at boy, Yonja. I'm sleeping like a baby. Right now, I want to go on an adventure too. Yo, I'll tell you something trippy. When I am exasperated or exhausted and want to go to sleep, I think of that version of Banjo sleeping. And I uh, sleep easier. I'll stand her next to the fair Audi. Is that your brother? Yeah, that's more like Bottles. Bottles is like Tails from uh, Sonic. Where, oh, yeah, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there, in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll show me ugly. What a pity. 
I'm gonna get yours, you're gonna go your way. I'm taking those snoozing away. I'm scratching my little man. You're so big, I can worry. Oh no, she's got her somebody! Help! Ah! Mando, wake up! Meow! <sighs> Yo, what do you want, Kazoo? Golly! Let's get outside, there's trouble! <laughs> Okay, so first things first guys, before we get going here, um, I want to ask your recommendations on a microphone. I have a blue snowball, and the blue snowball, oh, I guess we're getting going, but I'll talk with it as we intermingle. Um, I'm going to skip the tutorial. Listen up and bottles, the short side of mole. Well, I'm being on your own, this here is my buddy Kazupo. Sure is a strange looking buddy, man, you can it talk. Better than you can, Gaga boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Cootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Now, now, you two, look at her back. Where did she go? She flew up to the mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. I really won't, because I've done it before. I don't want to. No, I don't need your moves. It's a piece of shit. The basic moves. I, I'm, I'm, I'm already good. Yeah, you don't need no. No. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. Thank you. See you up there. Alright. So he gives you the flat flip jump. He gives you this one. Gives you this one. Gives you this one. Gives you this one. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, you don't quite have the uh, talent try yet, but they like. They want to give you that. Even though lives don't really matter, and this is the last game they really use lives, rare that is. And or Tilly, they don't use lives whatsoever. And it's really a better, it's a, it's a good strategy uh, for you to actually uh, fast travel. Ah, Topper. Shut the fuck up. I want to talk to you. Who's a Topper? I mean, I know you're my bro bottles, but... We don't even play cards, so Banjo too. Mmm, it's sticky tasty. Honey you end <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah. Um, you don't start with the talent trot. There's a few things you can do, but um, don't need that. No, get out of here. Oh, there's a honeycomb. So you have to get six honeycombs out here, and then you can go into the witch's lair. But yeah, there's there's the banjo's nice uh, uh, his field, his beautiful field where he grows things. All right. Break some boulders. Break some boulders. Oh, I'm gonna break some boulders. There you go. That's, that seems fair enough. So, I won't lament too much about this game, um, but I do feel frustrated with the swimming controls once I get down there. Because the A and B, I mean, it's such a natural progression. So I'll just let Tui be Tui, like Kazooie be Kazooie. Sorry. Uh, oh, I got him. <laughs> yeah. That feels good. Alright, so let's see. I think one of them is up here on a tree, if I recall correctly. But at the beginning, I said I wanted to address something. So for you guys that record music, video games, or otherwise, uh, what kind of microphone do you use? I use a Blue Snowball. It's like a USB microphone. Um, not too, it's not, it's not pretty inexpensive. And it's okay, but um, during my two-week stream, it uh, went out a lot. And what I'm recognizing is that uh, the USB on the back of it uh, is loose and it shimmies and it's frustrating for that reason. So you gotta do that double jump. That's that's like a Donkey Kong Country thing. And you gotta do it here too. And you gotta do it in Rusty Bucket Bay when you're going across to get that grunty switch. That's the hardest jump in the game. Um, it's annoying. It's like, why would that's just like sadistic shit? No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's hilarious. So, uh, we have two more. I think one's in the moat, and then one might be over here. Yeah, because I went that way, so it's gotta be. Alright, we're killing Kai Wobbles. Killing, that was an onion. That was a. Uh, I forget his name. There's Topper. Uh, I'm blanking on the names right now. Oh, well. 
Is it Topper, Collie Wobble, and Shallot? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, I forget his name. We'll figure it out. I gotta look it up real quick. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, it's a little bit. Uh, isn't it? That's not it. It's right there. Yeah, there we go. Right in front of you where I started. I went around the whole base of Spiral Mountain. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So you collect six units of energy to get a honeycomb in this game. Six units of uh, empty honeycombs to get, a, to get a full honeycomb in this game. Full extra honeycomb. Um, I like that. I like that. That is fantastic. Oh, I just tried to tell him again. Look at me. So that's one way you can kind of break uh, Banjo's roll, because Banjo's roll will, will halt you in your tracks. One you can break it is jump at the end, go into a rat tat tap you know, speed running shit galore, this is how you do it, you know. I'm not trying to speed run, but I am I'm cruising along. Look at how beautiful this water is. This is 98, dude. Like, they're not too far past Super Mario 64. Look at that. Look how realistic that waterfall and this river is. It's beautiful. You can see the interstitial vegetation and the bridge. It's, it's, it's enticing to the eye. Okay, so now we're going up here. I think we have to talk to this boss. Looks like you're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, battle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Fertilda's lair. Look out from the inside. Good luck. In this vantage point, I do want to check out some landmarks. So this was reason. This this uh, area was recently reprised in uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So we've got these things. You know what's interesting though is that in Ultimates they have um, Jinjos in the background, which I believe you can find here. I believe there's Jinjos. One up there, maybe? I think there is. Mm, no, I think they're all in levels. No, they're all in levels. There's nothing here. There's just those honeycombs from the beginning. But anyways, uh, there's a Jinjo here that shows up. Gruntilda shows up, of course. Mumbo does. Mumbo never shows up in Spider Mountain, ever. Um, I guess he does in Tui. Yes, he does in Tui. My bad. And then, um, you have the garden over there. Banjo's beautiful home. We saw a remodeling. Um, and it's a it's a fantastic area. I mean, it's I would love to call this home. Look at this little place. This little, little remote abode. So think about this as being on all Banjo's land for the most part. And then you just climb through here, and this is your neighbor. And you're like, how did this happen? Why is she living on the wall? Why do I have a, a drawbridge, rope bridge, going to her house? What is what is going on? Haven't I known her? She, she's been here all along. Because I think it's implied in this game that you haven't met yet. But it's like if this exists then you must have met at some point. I feel like they're new acquaintances, but she just moved in, maybe. I, that's why I pan like, is like, she just had her house built and you didn't notice it until your sister was taken. You were that oblivious. <laughs> okay, so here we go. The sperm drops on Santo. Well, make me young and too the old. I gotta get better at that. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Master, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my old air. Hurry, Congo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly bitch. <laughs> they wanted to. This is Mr. Scrunty. Powder is on soon be nasty. Nice. I think he said just the last word there. Oh, oh, Tootie. It takes the entirety of the game for that to actually work. But here she goes with her arms. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. There's our first jigsaw. Hey, it's me, Mr. Giddy. Now go and find a picture with a piece of my thing. Oh. <gasps> Alright, so let's head over to the only place we can go. So we don't, we can't ascend this yet. We don't have, like, why can't I do that? Oh, <gasps> maybe Kazooie walks? Oh, yes. Not only that, she trots. And I love this, like this, you have these spooky jack-o'-lantern, like, creatures that adorn the walls. Look at that, I mean, you're going into the, this lair, this, this dark, deathly lair. If you, if you, this wasn't rendered in N64, this was, like, more realistic. This would outright freak me out. Devil horns, all this scary stuff. I mean, look at this. It's downright frightening. And there's Gruntilda, she's like, this is my home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is my home, um... So let's uh, let's make steps to to take you on, 
you naughty Winky Bunyan. So Winky Bunyan is her last name, for those who don't know. And you'll find that out later in the game. And if you're not a Brit, that means penis ward. We got the first fillers, Gaga Boy. Great to fill in the pieces. I'll press A if you want to use any. Okay, well, well, shut the fuck up. Alright. Bottles is like that annoying geek that like feels like he has to hang out with you all the time. All the time. Like he's a clingy. He's a clingy one, I feel. I feel like he's a clingy one. But no, Bottles is good at heart. I don't mean to be harsh. I just think at times he can be a bit annoying. He's not quite as annoying as Na Navi in uh, Ocarina of Time, I'd argue. Definitely not as annoying as Fee and Skyward Sword made that game unbearable. You have 90% odds of advancing into the next section area to do uh, a mythic task. Oh, and this is the first game in the timeline, which makes no sense. I guess it means... So here's the Jinjos. So, uh, just a little thing on... Uh, what's that game? Skyward Sword for a second. Before we get into the Jinjos. Um... I can teach you how to get a sleep slot. Okay, thank you. Uh, the Skyward Sword. I think it was made unplayable by Fee and her like ridiculous calculations that she would make before you got into an area of your success rate or like where things were. Um, and then they, they they tell you in the Zelda lore that that game is the first entry. It's like the oldest of the games. It's the oldest story. Okay, so you're saying in the oldest story they have this fucking spirit with you that is giving you calculator, uh, like just like, is so mechanical, is so uh, just annoying. Like, 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 okay, so another thing I want to ask you guys, okay, so when you're GPSing, when you're on the road and whatnot, do you have your dongle set up or do you just carry the thing and then uh, your, your phone that is? Or, and then, then, and then furthermore, um, do you. <laughs> do you um do you turn on the the voice navigation or do you leave it off all right that's what i want to know personally i don't like the voice i turn the voice off <laughs> so that's the kind of person i am i like i like quiet i like people that when they're talking to me that are real people i don't like listening to robot voices i'm not somebody who speaks to my phone you know not that, that there's nothing wrong with that, it's just, you know, options. I first Oh shit, he was just underneath this bowl. That is... Ooh, Banjo, you got out of a scary situation. Alright, so I think we should get some moves first, or we can head over to a boy, Kanga. Oh yeah, and then the Jinjos that we passed earlier, sorry, I didn't mean to get off track, there's just so much going on right now. Uh, the Jinjos we passed earlier um, are this mythical race, not mythical because they exist, but the, like an alien race, I suppose. So we want him to hit these switches. You can do it. You can do it, pal. Come on. No, we just needed to go right here. What? Are we, you're not going. Hit the hit the switch. Why are you there? There we go. All right, this guy's being dangerous. Right bolt, dangerous. All right, right, just right in there. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, dude. There we go. So the Jinjos are this alien race. We'll go into them as we go along, you know. But in this game, uh, what's basic about them is that there's five different colors and they're all in, this, they're all in the same level. So once you get them, you get a Jiggy. Um, whereas in Tui, uh, it's that there's, uh, I don't know, like 10 houses of Jinjos and um, they're strewn about throughout the levels. So it's a completely different dynamic. Yo, chimp. Yo, chimpy. Chimpy wants an orange now. Feed the chimp. Uh, I have one. Oh, no, I have to go get one. That's right. I don't, I don't have one. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I mocked you, little buddy. Oh, no, no. No. Ho, ho. I was awfully close. What's up, dude? Yeah, I took your oranges. It makes no sense that a gorilla's up a tree eating oranges, but hey. Let's roll with it. Let's 
gorilla, more like a human in a costume. Haha, <laughs> the JK, big kid. Haha, <laughs> wink, wink. Haha, <laughs> I know the the joke. Haha. <laughs> All right. Donkey Kong's whole franchise. DK, four times eleven. Uh, Forty-four equals destruction. They're still fun games, but they're based on a fake thing. Gorillas are not real. They are people in fursuits. Look into um, Coco the Gorilla. Just look at it. It does not look like a gorilla, and it looks completely different from what they claim are modern day gorillas. Um, definitely DM me or whatever. Post on this if you want to talk about it. Um, but yeah, gorillas are not real. So another reason why I'm starting to prefer Banjo a little bit more than Donkey Kong. I mean, you should look at the gameplay and like the stories. They're beautiful, and you can just see them as fantastical. But Donkey Kong's based on this fake animal that uh, we're told is real, and Banjo is not. Banjo's based on a bear, it's a honey bear species, which is fake. Kazooie's based on a Breagle, and Breagles aren't real. So it's just fantastical to the core. And yeah. They're both, they're both beautiful, I, I don't wanna harsh the mellow people, don't get me wrong. But it's just, since I found out about this, it's, it's made me a little less... Oh, I need to get a move for that. Oh, that's right. Alright, well, I'll be back for that. You know I will. I want to get my, my slam, because I don't even have that basic move now. That's right, this game is, like, ridiculously easy. I'm not, obviously, this isn't a speed run, but I know where most everything is. Sorry for the poor camera angle. And when you're uh, in Tonga's section, you get locked on to that. So, they would improve upon this dynamic in future titles. But you can't kill that bull. That bull's invincible. Invincible, get it? So, let's keep going forward here. And Mumbles Mountain is the East level. You, I mean, if you're a seasoned player like me, I ought to be able to complete this level in 10 minutes. But I'm going to take my time and enjoy myself and explain things going forward. So let's have fun with this. Ah, so here's, here's one of the bottles of molehill. He taught me how to do the A, shoot the A. So I still have to do that down there. Um, and we'll do that when I get back. So now we're doing the talent shot. Oh, it's a little bit less than that. Oh, it's a little bit too. Oh, gee, why maybe Kazooie around with the control stick? Go practice! Alright. Alright, so this is this is the move changer. This is maybe the most, this is one of the most important moves in the game. Um, you're always using it. There's so many slopes. And in general, there's some speed sections that absolutely require it. I think there's something back here. Alright, we got that mumbo token. We need all of those. And we'll go up to the top here. Alright. Get all of these, baby. This is more so, so much more satisfying um, than I think. Well, I guess this game has a bit more of a rhythmic cadence to it than Tui. Um, it's not that it's more satisfying, because in certain levels it's just flat out annoying. But I do like collecting three notes on a platform instead of one um, note nest. So I got enough to get to the next area. Um, so maybe I do... Now that they've actually fixed um, the, the main problem with Kazooie in that uh, it was so difficult when you, you had to collect all the hundred notes in one go, it made, it made you feel like you were locked into a world. Um, now that they fixed that with XBLA, uh, that aspect is just, I think, plain better than Tui. Um, I might have argued otherwise in the Tui stream, but I don't know. It shows you how I can be, I can change my opinions. Like anybody, you know. But I do like that rhythmic cadence of collecting a lot of notes in quick succession. That's nice. I guess I like both styles really. Um, Alright, so I have to go up here because you can't aim with. Uh, in this game, you can't aim with shoot. And he'll throw some serious shit at you. Get away from his whole dialogue. Oh, I'm gonna fall. Wow. He throws it at you so hard. Damn, he got me. That's pretty good. He, he wallops that. He throws that at you as hard as he possibly can. Damn, dude. It's actually pretty good. He's got quite an arm. If you don't get up there with the mission, with the plan, you're gonna get hit. You gotta, like, dodge this one. You gotta go down. Like, you gotta... So you can get him to hurl it. Uh-huh. 
Oh shit. Oh my god, he sounded like Gobi. I think it's the same voice. Okay. Alright, but before I get that, I'm gonna go over to you. Oh, I still don't have that yet. What am I doing? Alright, I need to get that. Uh, on the other side, I think. I don't know the slam. I forget where the slam is. It must be. Yeah, I know what it is. It's up by uh, Mumbo's. Mumbo's. Oh, that's right. I gotta go over here. Well, now that I can do this, it makes more sense. Yeah, Talent Try opens everything up. It's a splendid move. Ah, Termite is upon us. Look at these little guys. A big one, a medium one, and a small one. The cool thing about this game is these just stay here and the enemies stay dead. So I don't want to leave one, one big one for uh, the Termite. I could do that. Alright, so now I think we go... Yeah, right about right. I think, is there two per level? There might be two per level. I don't remember. We can look at the totals. Let's go up Mumbo's side now. Alright. Alright. Grab all these. Feeling good. Oh, and there's a nice little easy jiggy right there. See, this game really holds your hand. I mean, this level is obvious about it. They want to be, I think in many ways it's a brilliant level because it introduces you to the basic concepts of everything. And it does so in a way that is, I mean, Congo's not the easiest. There's some slight challenge to it. So, I like it. I just, you know, as a returning gamer that's much older, like obviously it's not gonna be my favorite level because it's just so easy. I think you want to leave one, um, but where's before I get where's any bottles first? I got the talent trot, got the eggs, but now I got the slam, the beak buster. Drop it to the airport, see if it's gonna me up. I don't like the sound of that banzo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Hmm. Your energy is a little low. You suck. I'll fill it up for you. Okay. Whoa, Banjo, I've got the market to get you on this world. Way less dialogue in this game than the, the ladder. And obviously in the ladder you get these like uh, sequences where you can see both the characters nodding their heads and looking at each other. I mean, yeah. But it's cool. Everything's an improvement, you know? Everything moves forward. Okay. In some way. You know? In some way. Alright. So I'm busting this all up. Oh. Oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got ourselves some blue eggs. Feeling fantastic today. Uh, perhaps we'll have some uh, robin egg uh, omelets later. Because that's what the color they are is. Um, so I used to eat eggs all the time. I grew up eating uh, eggs with buttered bread. In the morning, we called it dippy eggs. It's uh, sunny side up eggs that, and you dip the butter bread in the yolk, and you get yourself a delicious treat, delicious morning, nutritious meal. But at some point, my gas became out of control, and uh, I was not allowed to eat eggs in the house. No, no, I'm playing. Um, no, I actually don't. No, I don't eat any eggs anymore because I'm a. Uh, I'm a hardcore vegan. No, I'm actually not vegan. I'm uh, I'm vegan plus I eat honey. So vegan plus one. All right. Now that that little rant's over, look at just like this. It's much more rhythmic because you collect these gold uh, MacGuffins in such succession that it's like wow, nice, nice, nice. It's 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 more uh, consistently um, satisfying, I guess. But the content is too easy. That's my problem. Not that it's my problem, but it's why I don't uh, quite like it as much as its as its sequel. Which feels a little too childish at times. But sometimes you need that. You need a little uh, injection or a little 
um, journey into the past, so to speak. So you can understand where you're going and what's going on in the world. Because really what's gone and what's come are coming and going again. All right. Nice. Philosophy aced it. All right. So now, I think, is there... I can go slam that shit. Um, do I want... I gotta do that first. But is there something I feel like I'm... Is there a mumbo token in here? That's what I gotta see. I gotta see if there's a mumbo token in there. Because that will change everything. There might be. And I think I need five. So I think I do have to go in here with Banjo and Kazooie first. Because there ought to be... Yes. Let's see. Alright. That's what I needed. Because now you can't get it. Okay, so that's perfect. I knew that. So that's the termite mound. I said ant, I think. It's termites. They're thermites, they're giant thermites. Okay. I <laughs> cruise on down the mountain. Now we're going over to our good old grump tilde to slam on our face with our round bear cookies. Alright. So let's get up the. Oh, no, hold on. He can't hit you over here. Nice. So this, these switches give you, or open up a jiggy on the outside. So this, okay, this game has uh, hub world jiggies. That's their, that's this game's version of hub world jiggies is Gruntilda switches. The hub world jiggies in Tui. Okay, it's inevitable. I'm going to compare these two throughout. <laughs> so just get used to it. Uh, the hub roll jiggies in Tui are the Jinjos. So, that's the real bread and butter of the hub worlds. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm going to let the termite cope with you. Alright, I think I have enough to afford this transformation. It's interesting. You pay tokens in this game, and you give them a magical creature in Tui. Very interesting. Look at him, he's got his cool skull uh, wand. Remember, best summon in the dinner dungeon and filthy feathered one. What's up, Patora? Mumbo's magic tokens, hid by which find tokens in Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B. He come bokum to see mighty Mumbo magic. Okay. Okay, well, we'll get, we'll get this stuff first. Just calm down a minute. I think the rest of them are there, but there might be something worthwhile up here. So yeah, you pay tokens here, and uh, yeah, they, they are well hidden throughout this game, throughout this adventure. Alright, so now... Let's transform! There's our termite. You ready? Well, I love how it, it goes into a uh, fast pitched, uh, fast and high pitched mode when you press A. That's hilarious. It's like how they um, made a fast, high pitched version of Bowser's cack, Bowser's cackle, I guess. Bowser's uh, laugh to make Boo's laugh in the Mario series. Okay. So, now because we're the termite, we have better, oh hell, rather than you get those shots, I want to. Pretty funny, pretty ridiculous. Well, you can't have them, fucker. I need them because you'd see my problems. Alright, um, so for whatever reason, I know it makes sense, insects can climb on walls. So you have the dexterity, and you have the grace, and you have the traction of a champion so that you can get all the notes in the level and you can't attack though. The thing about this game is most strength formations you can't attack with them. Um, so you have the traction, you're, you're a fin phenomenal individual right here. So thanks, thanks Bottles. Thanks. Thanks for the information. I'm just gonna dodge my brothers because they're getting in my way, getting on my nerves. Alright, let's go up here. I think this is the last chicken. Correct. Let's see. Let's get our live, which means nothing, but it's kind of fun to chance at. 
All right, let's go up here to the top. That's it. Pretty easy. And then let's just go out as our termite, snag the next jiggy, and then call it a stream once we get to Treasure Trove Cove. Yeah, we're making serious progress. I love these guys, the Gruntlings here. I didn't acknowledge him on the way, and I was like, I'll oh, just blow right past you. Just blow right past you. You can't even get to me. Look at you. Look at your run cycle. You just, you can't, oh, nope, you can't get to me. You don't even know what you're doing. You're just keeping up with me, but you really can't get to me. It's just an eternal struggle for you. They're pretty cool designs. I got a little, like, Tarzan, like, uh, pattern shorts. A little a little feather top, feather hat, feather head, feathers on their head. All right, well, we'll be right back. Well, actually, something that I think is a vast imp improvement in this, or not improvement, but a, I prefer in this game. Blech. 100 we just get, we got it all. It's our best note scorer, so we got all 100, thanks. Yep, we know that we went over that bottles. I understand you gotta explain it to everybody though. And as I said, the prompts go away. Um, but the nice thing about this game is what's coming up right here, where once you get out of distance, the game just takes away the transformation from you. Mumble magic get weak, and we'll turn back our magic goal. And that's because you can exit the level as the as the transformation. And well, I think all transformations here are organic. Yes, they are. Whereas in the next game, there's mechanical, of course. So they, I don't know why they didn't continue with that in Tui. That is such a nice thing. Like if you go out as the washing machine, say in Grunty Industries, um, that you can just continue on, and then it will say magic get weak. Because what's that gonna do? I mean. I just didn't want to program it, I guess. Alright, so yeah, we're way ahead right now. One of our powerful magical spells. Open it up then, jam jars! So that's a little hint. Jam jars is to come. How many of you must collect the musical notes from the world? How many do I know? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. All right, mums. All right, uh, blah, 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 Cool, let's do a little jig. I'll oh, come grab them. Bravo, bravo, I did it all. You didn't do anything. <laughs> We're one. Banjo and a someone. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Well, we'll see about that, Grunty. Totally. You're getting a little bit too cocky. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brantilda. Brantilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. So I never uh, write these down. I think it's hilarious. You kind of have to. You just have to remember them. Um, but I know other people do write them down uh, because, yeah, it's hard to remember all these random factoids about her sister. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. All you have to remember is the moldy cheese. All you have to remember is the, uh, the lines that are shaking. The font that's shaking. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck! And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. Ew! So Saggy Maggie, moldy cheese, engine oil. You can remember that? You're a saint. Treasure Trove Cove. Let's put in one at a time and enjoy it. Alright, just tell me it's the first time. Oh. Go away, Maggie. He's not... He, he doesn't do too much as you get further along. The beginning of the game is a little... A little much at times. Alright. Here we go. That's all I'm saying. That's why I think he's clean. Because... Alright, so we'll go down here. We've got to get ourselves a warm cauldron. So yeah, like, Red Tiller was referring to uh, the fiery furnace at the end of the game. Finery uh, furnace fun. We've activated a magic cauldron for him to run the same color to create a shortcut. Okay, so let's get some eggs and then go upstairs. When I'm nice and slim, what's more? Burgers, fries, and chips galore! Alright.
Okay, so can we do anything in here first? Let's see. I think we can. I think we can. So right over here. Oh, because we can afford this, I think. We'll get the other man. You know, another cauldron, of course. And I think. Oh, excuse me. Let's go back. Got that cauldron. Start. I don't remember this game as well as Tui, but for the most part, I know everything. I mean, I, I, I've definitely beat it multiple times, so I know everything. But um, there's still. There's always something new to explore, so I don't know everything. I know most of things about the standard game, but I'm still learning things and looking at walls and trying to understand. See, that looks like I see a bird right there, some sort of like demon from like the, the Spanish flu right there. And that looks like your standard goblin with like kooky horns. It's very cool. Witchy World's train station is very reminiscent of this. So, this is the way to Finker's Cavern. Um, I think I can actually... Can I bypass Treasure Trove Cove? I think I might be able to. But I'm not going to. I'm just taking this... I'm just doing this uh, piece. So that when we do get out of Treasure Trove Cove, we can uh, go right over. Alright, so now we go over... Oh, that was pretty fucked up. That doesn't mean... Yeah, okay, we're really good. Really, if you stick to those roll jumps, you're gonna be fine playing this game. Um, if you just roll though, it really screws you up. So. One of the first things you learn. Oh, another burnt tail clip. Well, let's learn some more. Grunty wears her pretty circus under that repulsive dress of hers. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. I do think she is that uh, impossible uh, type A feline female. Raj told is the obvious black sheep <laughs> of the family. It's interesting to think about their parents and if they have any other siblings. I should say that they're only sibling. No, because Blabelda and Magella. So Blabelda and Magella never even mentioned Brentilda. It's just, no, let's do, let's throw in uh, these two instead. It's interesting. Or maybe Sisters is not, it's more like Hocus Pocus style, where they're not like blood sisters, but they're sisters because they practice the craft together. All right, so I can do Bubble Group right now. We can do it all in one. Yeah! Is it a Z? Oh, I guess not. Oh, here we go. Yep. All your pieces into the picture of this person. Yep. Thanks, dude. Oh, so that's Bubble Gloop Swamp. Oops. So I opened that before. Uh, wait, I don't think I've ever... Did I fuck up mad? Oh, shit. How much do you need to get into... Um... Uh-oh. That was dumb. How much do you need to get into <laughs> Treasure Trove of Code? Fuck. <laughs> Can you actually do this? I've never done something like that before. I, do you just need two? I'll be so happy if you just need two. Oh no, I already did. I already did that. I'm, I'm tripping. Clanker's Cavern is the one I'm talking about. Sorry. No, we're fine. We're fine. We got, we got Treasure Trove Cove. We got Clanker's Cavern. We're absolutely good. Or, uh, Bubble Group Swamp. <laughs> we'll get Clanker's Cavern, uh, soon. Oh, that's the... Oh, Clanker's Cavern is the one that's in the past foyer, uh, with the, um, the jump. What's it called? The jumping move, the green pad. Bouncy spring, we learned on this level. Short hop spring, something like that. Shock spring. Yeah, shock spring, jump, something like that. Okay, so let's finish our run here and we'll call it a stream. He says it with me. If you go home, I'll set her free. Okay, sorry, I didn't read in your tone, but I was distracted. Okay, so we've got Treasure Trove Cove on the agenda next time. Hope you guys are enjoying this and uh, let's play on.